Hello everybody, we are Dominic Meyerhofer and Manuel Laufer from the Institute of Neuro and Bioinformatics of the University of Lübeck. We want to present you an AI-based framework for diagnostic quality assessment of ankle radiographs. As one of the most frequently used imaging modalities, radiographs are of significant importance for diagnosis and treatment planning. For these tasks, a diagnostic adequate image quality is mandatory. Right now, as a quality control, the first radiograph quality assessment is made by radiographers instead of radiologists who make the diagnosis. But because of time pressure, inexperience or overtiredness, the radiographers may misjudge the diagnostic quality, which results in various disadvantages including additional costs or unnecessary radiation exposure. To prevent these errors and to establish a quality control mechanism, an automated quality assessment can help. Digital radiographs makes previously common use technical factors for assessing radiograph quality, such as contrast or noise, less important. So we propose to use the alignment of anatomical structures as a more appropriate feature for accessing diagnostic radiograph quality. A radiograph may be of perfect technical quality, but can nevertheless be worthless for diagnostic purposes if the relevant anatomical structures are not visible due to misalignment. This misalignment cannot be easily measured, but the resulting diagnostic quality can easily be assessed by a radiologist. Here we can see radiographs of the ankle in the lateral and AP view. Due to misalignment of the ankles, the diagnostic quality in the first two columns are not optimal. This is more visible in a cropped view. The radiologist determined the complete visibility of the joint spaces, for example between the distal tibia and the talus for the lateral view, as the most relevant criteria for diagnostic quality. The misalignment of the ankles results in a radiograph with reduced visibility of these structures. From the left to right, the alignment gets better and the diagnostic quality rises. For automated quality assessment of ankle radiographs, we propose the following framework. The first step consists of recognizing the radiographic view. For anchor radiographs, this means a classification into AP or lateral, for which we used an efficient net B0. By dividing the quality assessment task into a view-specific task, we facilitate the learning process of our networks. While the entire radiograph is relevant for diagnosis, only a fraction is needed for assessing the quality of the standard projection. Therefore, in the next step, the relevant region of interest is cut out by segmenting a bounding box via one of two deep lab V3s. Which deep lab V3 is used depends on the result of the radiographic view recognition. Getting standardized region of interest of a particular radiographic view is the basis for assessing the diagnostic quality with high accuracy. So we use two different neural networks, one for each of the two radiographic views, and train them individually on the AP and lateral region of interest respectively. For this task, we trained a regression resulting in outputs from 1 to 3, and because of the relatively small data sets, we also used the efficient net B0. To test our proposed framework, we created two data sets of anchor radiographs in AP and lateral view. The first one is weakly labeled based on DICOM metadata and is used to train the radiographic view recognition network. For the quality assessment task, a novel dataset was created, containing 950 radiographs from five different X-ray machines. Four radiologists labeled each of these radiographs as one, if the radiograph fulfilled the mentioned criteria perfectly, two, if partly, and three, if the criteria were not met. This dataset was also used for training the segmentation networks for extracting the region of interest. Using these datasets, we tested each step of our framework individually. For the final quality assessment, we achieved a mean accuracy of 94.1%. As a population study, we tested the accuracy of the quality assessment when removing view recognition or region of interest extraction from the framework. Our experiments showed a decrease of accuracy by up to 12 percentage points, supporting the choice of our preprocessing steps. To get an estimation on how accurate the labels are, we tested each labeling radiologist against the other three. We count the label as wrong if the other three radiologists uniformly gave a higher or lower rating. The mean over the four radiologists 
resulted in an accuracy of 91.4%, which is about 2.5 percentage points worse than our framework. In total, we could show that expert assessment of diagnostic quality can be learned. And since this assessment is based on anatomical features, these are therefore suitable for automatic assessment of diagnostic quality. With this framework, it is now possible for radiographers to immediately get a high-level quality assessment on the same level of expertise as they would get from radiologists. For more details and experimental results, we refer you to our paper. Thanks for watching.